right, welcome out there. Just gonna give it a couple minutes. I'm gonna turn on one of my lights as well. It looks like there's a little shading going on and my take your pick tool is going crazy too. Let's see, turn on my light. And hopefully that fixes that little shadow there. Ooh, maybe not. Hopefully soon I'll have my dedicated back room is just a place where I can do videos and lives, I'm hoping. So um, let me know where you're watching from and uh, we can go from there. So I see Carol's on. Hello, Carol. All right, so tonight we are going to be making two cards. Um, after I unbox the paper pumpkin um, kit that I got in the mail. So um, we'll be doing that. Uh, we'll be going over last chance celebration celebration. And uh, let's see, what else? Uh, we'll just take it from there. So um, again, welcome. This is my Friday night crafting with Karen. And uh, looks like I have my regulars on. So it's awesome. I love seeing um, people with the same names pop up every week. So uh, makes me smile on the inside and the outside. So, all right. Um, so I don't know if you, you guys are um, subscribed or have subscribed to Paper Pumpkin. Um, this is a great time to um, subscribe if you haven't, um, because during celebration, you can, um, your prepaid subscription can be um, used and earn your celebration products. I don't know if you knew that or not, um, but I'll let you know um, that a three month prepaid subscription um, will um, get you one free $50 um, product from celebration brochure, a six month paid a prepaid subscription um, will um, award you two fifty dollars or one free one hundred celebration item, and then a twelve month prepaid subscription, which is what I have. Um, you can receive four fifty dollar celebration items or two free one hundred dollar um, celebration items plus your host benefits. So lots of things going on during celebration. Celebration ends on Monday, um, so Monday night, and it's probably going to be like right before midnight. Usually they um, stampin' up, will shut down things about 10 minutes before midnight. So make sure you get your last minute or, um, orders in there so you can earn your free paper and your stamp sets, maybe the host um, stamp set too. So lots of things um, happening during celebration. Another thing is um, joining Stampin' Up. Um, so when you join Stampin' Up and purchase a starter kit, you can pick any two free um, stamp sets, any stamp set, doesn't matter the price, um, you can go for the most expensive, you can go for what you like, whatever um, you want from either the annual or the mini catalog. Um, so we would love to have you on our team. We, and some of us are um, watching, are, we're all together on one team and we're called the Inspired Daisies. Um, and that name was actually, um, when I was thinking about a team name, um, of course, I went to my grandmother and I, well, I didn't go to her physically, but I thought about her and her love of daisies. Um, so my business name, Inspired by Graham, and is kind of fitting to Inspired Daisies. So we have a private Facebook group, which we share all our projects on. We have our team gatherings. I do share all of my PDFs to my team and most recently I started this year, um, if they attend one of my events, like say my Creative Escape Spring Retreat, um, they will save $10 um, by their own promotional code and also um, $10 if they register before 
um, my deadline. So um, it's great to be um, together and stamping um, either in person or like we do Zoom every month. So hopefully in uh, March, we'll be able to get together and stamp a little bit more. So I did have my Parks and Rec class this week. So that was really fun. We um, hadn't gotten together since some of us since like November. So that's a long time to be separated from our stampers. Um, but it was super fun. We had nine people at the um, town hall last night. Um, and super, super fun connecting. So that's my um, kind of just on things. Now, um, one last call out for my celebration celebration. Um, so you can earn a free spot to my event and it will be either Zoom uh, for long distance or people that can't uh, make it or um, in person and we're going to be at the Har Hartford Town Hall. You think I live there, right? I work there and I have my classes there and my retreats are going to be there. So, but there's, um, they're very gracious and allow me to have the room there. And it's really nice and lots of windows, lots of natural light. So in order to earn your spot in Celebration Celebration, you would need to order $150 or more in product during Celebration. And that doesn't have to be one big order. It can be multiple orders. So you could put in a $50 order tonight, a $50 order on Saturday, and a $50 order on Sunday or Monday, and then you would qualify. So um, again, my my um, website is inspiredbygram.com and you can just hit the shop now button. Um, I know there's lots of fun stamp sets out there. Plus with um, your $150 order, that's, that's one $100 uh, celebration item plus a $50 one too. So multiple ways of saving. Um, so... My congratulations still goes out to Jody H, who's a team member of mine. Um, her sales qualified her for a seat. And then Carla A, Kathleen H, Charlene L, and Teresa C all earned her their spots by um, purchasing at least $150. So I really appreciate my team members and also uh, my customers as well. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I... I um, <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> I treated myself to a new memento, black memento um, stamp pad. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the refill, but um, I do have actually two extra refills in my refill box. So I treated myself to a new stamp pad um, and we'll use those again for classes too. So, all right, let's go through things here. So here are the two cards I'm making for you tonight. And they're super cute. And what I wanted to do is kind of some easy cards tonight rather than, you know, kind of a little bit more detailed. Um, I do going to be using my Stampin' Blends again, and I'll be die cutting these two little images um, too. Um, so that's super fun. I love this little fish here. And look at those eyes are like staring at each other, right? Um, super fun there. And then here is this one. I didn't, I don't think I designed the inside of this card. I made these last night, like really quick. Um, and then here's this one. What I tried to do with the mama chick here was give her some yellow, but that really was kind of failed. <laughs> so um, I'll try a little bit better. I wanted to have a lot more brown in that um, little chick there. And um, this is the baby one, so yellow on that one. Um, and then I used a punch here, and um, I actually used a one-inch circle punch, which I'll use tonight. Um, and then the inside, okay, I used the designer series paper a different way. I did two different layers, um, just on a whim. I thought, well, you know what? I know these are clouds, and they're going, you know, down and up or whatever, but... I don't care, right? Let's use our paper how we think it might look good. So um, on the front, the clouds are going the correct way, um, but on the inside, it's just a different design. All right, and then um, the envelopes. Let's see, where are my envelopes? Um, here's one. 
So what I did, I took the envelope and I kind of used scraps is what I used. Um, these This pack of paper is free during celebration. So um, I just used my scraps and I created the same kind of design on the envelope and on the inside of that one. So we'll be making that. And then where's my other envelope? Should be, I don't know. It's like chaotic. I'm trying to get my... Um, my card club shipped tomorrow uh, and it's going to be probably, I really want to ship it tomorrow. Um, so I am going to try like um, as hard as I can tonight. Um, and then here's this one. Now I created it the same kind of way as the other one. Um, and it looks super fun, I think. Right. And I, I don't know, I probably would design this one a little bit more. Of course, I use the thick um, basic white which is, is really nice. Um, I usually don't do use thick basic white. I just use the regular weight, but once in a while I'll, I'll give it a try. So we'll be making this card first. And then let's see, I have one thank you. And I think she just came on. So I got a nice little thank you card. Um, she has two names and I don't know why, but Kathleen, AKA Findlay. I don't know if I said that correctly, um, but um, here's a cute little card. She's a beginner card maker, as I understand it. This is one of my first card attempts. I'll get better with the next one. Well, you know what? This is perfectly fine. This is a beautiful card, and I love how you kind of layered things down here, and um, that really, that really nice gold trim ribbon there is beautiful as well so thank you so much um kathleen aka finley all right so let's look at what we have in here so here's paper pumpkin and let me grab my take your pick tool i got this probably earlier in the week i know some demonstrators get them much earlier than i do and i think it's because i am on the east coast almost in the ocean, you know, there's New Hampshire and Maine, and then there's the ocean. So I'm only two and a half hours from the state of Maine, so, and 20 minutes to New Hampshire. So we have to kind of wait, I think, a little bit um, to receive our paper pumpkin. But I've never done a paper pumpkin reveal, so this should be fun, right? My box got a little... Um, crushed in the mail for some reason but let's just kind of look at the box first on the back or the side here is going to tell you um the name of the kit and this is safari celebration and the month in the year so february 2022 okay and then of course it has it over here and the Stampin' Up! item numbers right here too, which is 160164. And again, sale um, Safari Celebration. And let's see what's inside. Hopefully it didn't get crushed. I keep my boxes because they actually make really nice shipping boxes. Okay, so can you see this? Let me just zoom in. That's a little bit better. Okay, so what do we got? Well, we have a nice stamp set here, and it says, fantastic, happy birthday, congratulations, amazing, let's celebrate, you did it, and then it's got some leaves, oh, this says yay, oh, this looks like cupcake, and some splatter, um, so, and you are so, and then you can put some things together, like amazing, um, so anyway, that's our stamp set. You always get one stamp set. And then next they have a sneak peek at the next month. Okay. So you have to order or, or subscribe to Paper Pumpkin by the 10th of the month. Um, so there is still time to, um, order March. Um, but if I were you, I would order a three month subscription at least so you can get celebration products. Okay. Um, so um, it looks like it's going to be working with the fabulous paper. Um, oh, oh, this is interesting. All these little bundles, like, hmm, 
I think they're gonna have us using the mini cut and emboss. But I'll tell you a little secret. If you are looking to purchase the mini stamp and cut and emboss, I usually don't like say this right off, but um, starting March 1st, you can order this the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine at a 20% off. So it's $60 retail. So you can do the math. I, I stink at math. Um, so 20% off the 60 is what you can get. So I know Debbie Franklin probably already got it. So <laughs> anyway, um, so that's a sneak peek. They always do that. And then share your moment, connection, creativity, and community. And see, isn't this like fun? Doing our kits are really, really fun. Okay, we always get a stampin' spot. Rich Razzleberry is what is in this month's um, kit. I always save these. I don't open them. I use my own um, classic ink pads because I can give this away to a customer as a thank you gift or if somebody wants to try Rich Razzleberry, I've got it. All right, the next step is the blue tissue paper. Now, I've never seen it any other color but blue. This is like a baby blue. So they do package it up really nicely. Okay, we got a kit in here. Let me just tip it over. Okay, I'm gonna put this down on the floor. Okay, so here is our Safari Celebration Paper Pumpkin Kit. And let's take it out and see. I'm just gonna go through it real quick to see what's in here. And I will try to make um, the projects um, for Monday on my Facebook Live. I will try to make alternatives too. Um, I've got a lot to do this weekend, but I'm going to try to sneak in some paper pumpkin as well. So let's see what we have. Um, let's start with this first because it will tell us um, what is in here. We've got some monkeys, right? That's fun. Elephants on roller skates. Um, so here are, they always give you some instructions. Let me zoom back out here. Okay. So they always give you instructions on how to put things together. Um, and you can see like on this banner here, these are Stampin' Dimensionals. So you've got some Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh my goodness. There's like a whole sheet here. Um, and then the little, little dots are glue. Um, I think, let's see. Those must be the embellishments. And these look like little like pebbles of some sort. Let me see if they've, I think it's on the other side. Oh, this side here. So if you're measuring, there's a nice handy dandy ruler right along here. And then let's turn it over on the back side. Um, okay, this is instructions. So it's gonna tell you what's in your kit. I always like to uh, make sure I have everything in my kit, because if I don't, well, Stampin' Up! is going to definitely stand by their products. So um, it doesn't say, it says the kit components contain supplies for nine cards in nine envelopes. The coordinating Stampin' Up! colors include Bumblebee, Fresh Freesia, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, Soft Succulent, and Soft Suede. And then, um, let's see, it coordinates with some other products too. Now, I gotta look and see kind of what I have in my craft room to figure out what I can do with this. Now, I don't, I actually have that paper and I don't know what it's called because I haven't used it yet, but there's some sweet tags here too. And then paperpumpkinhowto.com. Um, our detailed instructions for this kit. So you can go to the website. And then, let's see. And then you can go to this website, stampinup.com slash paper pumpkin dash coordination. So um, you can get more ideas here as well. So that is paper pumpkin instructions. Now I don't wanna lose any of this stuff, so let me just put it in a pile here. So we've got instructions, we got some pebbles. Always a stamp set. Now in your first paper pumpkin kit, you will get a block. Um, so they give you one block and there's that one. 
All right, so we've got some super fun envelopes, it looks like. We've got some printing on the front side. Um, and then we've got some nice prints. So the print goes all the way on the, on the side here too. And then here's that bumblebee. Now I'm gonna probably destroy this envelope, at least one of them, to use it as a panel on a card or something. So that's that one. And then here's uh, probably pear pizzazz, a different kind of pattern, um, as you can see the inside. And then here's the front side, same kind of thing as the bumblebee. And then we've got um, three and soft succulent. All different patterns. And so super fun. So let's put them all together so you can see the coordination and colors. I love all those colors together. Okay, and then let's see what's in the pile here. So these are our card bases. Okay, always white on the inside. So this would look like this. That would go with that one. So you'll have three of these. So one, two, three. And then, oh no, look at these cutouts, right? They're little um, pop-outs. I feel like I'm in um, like, Remember those preschool books where you, like sticker books. I just got my grandson, Finley. Um, he's gonna be three years old. So he's in the category of almost three plus on books and stuff like that. Um, he is going to see, he started um, a new daycare, which they put him in preschool because he's so close, to, his age is almost there. So um, isn't that fun? That is, oops, I forgot. One little punch there. There's a little piece there that's gonna get punched out. Okay, so there's that little monkey. That's what he looks like. And you have three of those. And then here's a deer. Now this is kind of funny with a cupcake. And there's a stamp that says yay. So there's lots of coordination. Now, if you're really careful, there is a little heart here. All right, see that? That can be used as a heart. So I'm gonna put that away. And then here's the cutout of the little deer. And the deer has earrings on it. See the earrings? That's super fun. And there's the Freshrija color. So that would go with this one here. And I guess, what would I, I would probably match that up with the soft succulent maybe. I'm not sure, I'd have to work with it. Oh no, it probably goes with pear pizzazz. I'm not sure because the other, um, the other card base is soft succulent. But you know what, everything coordinates so it will all look really nice. So we've got that, that, and it looks like we've got some vellum. So we have squares. Oh no, these are, have etching on the edge. Okay, so that is super fun. I guess I know it's gonna be hard to see the vellum. So there's three shapes here and three of these shapes. And we have some really huge circles. So three of those. And then here are, <laughs> here are the elephants on the roller skates. That's really cool. Okay, so that's what the elephant looks like. Let me grab, this is like, when you, I have paper pumpkin and I have to like organize it because there's, you get so many different things. Um, and I just love to be able to organize it here for you, but um, we're just kind of going through it tonight. Here's some punch out circles. And it looks like we have four of them. So that's what that looks like. And then we have a bunch of banners. There's some rich razzleberry in this one. So rich razzleberry, soft, soft succulent, bumblebee. And then here's some just um, rectangles here with pear pizzazz. You've got some glue dots. Now I don't use these. I struggle with these, and I know some people can use them so easily, but for me, I struggle with them. And then here's some nice um, foliage die cuts as well. I'm gonna keep these in here because I'm afraid I will lose them. So you have three sheets. So 
I know when I use paper pumpkin, I always have so many things left over. So it's a it's super good bargain. Now, um, come March 1st, um, paper pumpkin has going to have a price increase of $2 a month. So now is the time, if you're really interested in paper pumpkin, to um, subscribe to at least three months so you can try it out. Don't, don't do the one month because um, you just never know what you're going to get. And it might be your taste. It might not be. Um, but you can always uh, make some alternative projects and not do what they do. So anyway, that is Paper Pumpkin. So, <coughs> so I'm going to put that. And there goes my ink spot okay so that is what i've got for paper pumpkin let me know is um anybody out there a paper pumpkin subscriber um i used my sale as a demonstrator we were able to earn celebration um rewards and um i took those and subscribed to the whole month or a whole 12 months excuse me and i'm going to continue to do that um, just because I do have some customers that are subscribed to Paper Pumpkin and I like to bring them alternatives and I like to bring you alternatives as well. All right, you guys ready? I'm going to make this card here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so you can kind of see. I'm using the free paper. So here's one of the things that you can um, add to your order. Um, it's a celebration um, reward. So it's called Sunshine and Rainbows. It's a six by six paper pack. I think I have five of these um, that I've been stockpiling because I'm, I'm going to do a class. And I use this paper in my um, re, uh, Creative Escape Retreat as well. So if you don't know what my Creative Escape Retreat is, you should. And um, you can, you can um, message me because I can't give you the um, direct link because it's got PayPal in it um, and that's against Stampin' Up! policy. So you have to be my, on my email list to receive it. Um, so um, it's gonna be super fun and you can um, purchase it to go or in person. All right, let's get started. <laughs> so I've got the little cat with a fish in the fish bowl. That's the stamp we're gonna use on this one. And then I have, I'll catch you later, dear friend, on um, the sentiment. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, stamp, let's see. Um, I need a little scrap here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this one over here. I think you might be able to see it. Okay, so here's my um, basic white, and let me get out Mark's ruler here. And I can't remember what I cut this down to. Two and a half by three and three quarters, it looks like. And we're going to be using Stampin' Blend. So I'm going to use my new Memento ink pad. And it's tight because I just started to use it last night. Um, for me, I like to take my ink pad and um, stamp it this way on the more larger stamps. Okay, so Mr. Mr. Cat and the fish. All right, let's stamp right on the left side. Okay, and I love how dark that ink is. Okay, and then we're going to stamp on a piece of scrap. And I'm gonna be using the Stitch So Sweetly um, dies to die cut. So I'm just gonna stamp on the center of this one. Um, I know it's overkill on the paper, but it's just a scrap of white. Now um, we're gonna we're gonna die cut this one here was stitched so sweetly, and I'm gonna die cut a little heart and pool party. So if I didn't lose my little die, my heart, I know it came out. Just bear with me. Uh-oh. It's on my desk here somewhere. Don't you hate that? Like this little heart is so tiny. 
Oh no. I don't think it fell on my floor. Anybody see it? Let me know if you see that little die cut heart. It's gotta be here somewhere. Let me check the bin. It could be in here too. Nope. Oh, I see it. It's on my magnet sheet. What do you know? Okay, so we've got, um, let's take our mini cut and emboss and we're going to die cut. Sorry, I'm a little scattered brain tonight. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. And don't forget, starting March 1st, this one is 20% off. All right, so I'm going to use number three and number two. And then I think it's number three, yeah. And then I'm gonna die cut this um, kind of this way. It fits that shape really nice. And then I'm going to, let me just cut a piece of this pool party off. And I wanna try to sneak that little heart in there at the same time. So we only have one pass. Okay, and then let me grab my number two. We'll create a sandwich. Okay, it looks good. So we're just gonna crank it through and see what we have here. So let me just close this up, try to be quiet. And I'm just gonna set that on my desk over there. I love that mini cut and emboss. Okay, see how tiny that heart is? I really did not wanna lose this die. It's very, very small. Okay, so I'm gonna put this die here on the magnet sheet and the stitch so sweetly going on there okay now we're just gonna I'm um, gonna actually color in our cat in our fish in the fish bowl itself so my blends that I'm using are of course pool party because that's the blue that's in the paper and then I have smoky slate I have um, pumpkin pie and I have light Daffodil Delight, and these are of dark and, dark and light as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to move these to the left side out of my vision. I'm gonna take the dark um, blends. Let me just zoom in. Okay, so you see these little, um, little dots over here? This is where I'm gonna um, put this darker color in this corner of the cat, kind of. And I just feel like those little dots need some darker color. And then in the tail itself, let me just put a little bit up there too. And then I'm going to go over the whiskers. We need a name for this cat. Let's call this cat Fred, okay? Fred and um, let's call this um, fish Lennon. So Fred and Lennon. So I'm going to color in Fred. Okay. That's all I want right now. I'm going to layer down with some light smoky slate and then I'll probably go over again with a darker color. I start dark and then light, but I know, um, Jean she does it the other way. Um, and I don't know, there's no right or wrong. It's just kind of a preference. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use the brush tip a little bit, so it might go a little bit faster. Um, I, with my Parks and Rec class, I brought all my Stampin' Blends because they could just color whatever color they wanted to. And um, they had a super fun time picking out their colors on Wednesday. Um, and thank, I don't know if Diane's watching, but she came early and she helped me um, set up and I had her, um, I brought my Stampin' Blend storage um, cases and they all kind of dumped in my traveling to and from home, you know, I had to pack everything in my car, um, but she organized them really nicely and it looked like a rainbow. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the dark here. Just give this some more 
darkness here. And I'm using, usually don't use the brush tip. Okay, I wish it would dry a little bit quicker. So now I'm just gonna blend one more time with the light, just lighten it up. The one thing I don't have is the um, color lifter. I need to put that on my ordering list. I thought I ordered it um, last time, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so there is our cat called Fred. We're done with the um, Smoky Slate Dark and Light. And now I'm going to use um, the Daffodil Delight for the eyes. I just felt that cat needed some eyes, so we're just gonna give him some yellow eyes. And now the fish. <laughs> I love this little fish. All right, so I'm gonna use dark pumpkin pie on the fins there and a little bit on the tail. And then I'm going to use my light pumpkin pie just to give it a little bit of character. Gotta go really slow so you can stay in the lines. And then again, I'm going to take my light daffodil delight and color in a yellow eye for the fish. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that water a color um, and we're going to give it um, a dark pool party. The other one I used um, light, so I wanted to do dark on this card because then you can see the difference. Okay, so there is the fish bowl. Pick this all up. Okay, so now we have, let's see, our card base, which is that thick basic white, and it's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Um, and then I have the designer series paper, and that is the sunshine and rainbows, and it's free during celebration, about three days left. This is five and a half by two. So I'm gonna use my liquid glue on this one just because I can slide it in place a little bit easier. It's edge to edge, so you definitely need to, um, if you're perfect and be able to put it down the first try, well, that's great. But Karen here, she needs to, she's not so perfect here. And I'm gonna actually open up the card here and try to do this on the, side. Okay, I think I did an okay job. Now, if your paper is over the edge just a little bit like mine is, you can just take your paper snips and just trim it right off. Now, paper snips, I think, are back in stock. They were out of stock for such a long time, um, and I, I love them because, look at, I'm just taking off like less than a sixteenth of an inch um, and they just trim so nicely. See that? I have the camera really close. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> okay, that's better. Okay, so that's the front. Very, e <clears throat> excuse me, easy. Then I'm used to stitch so sweetly again. And I use Smoky Slate to, and I die cut that out with the die. Now this is simply gonna go right onto the, um, the die cut. I'm gonna use my stamp and seal on this one. I'm gonna use all kinds of adhesives tonight just to show you the variety that we offer. All right, so now we're just going to add this panel to the smoky slate, okay? Then we're gonna take that Stitch So Sweetly stamp sentiment here we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna use another adhesive that we offer and those are called Stampin' Dimensionals and they come regular, and which these are white and regular size. And then they these also come in a mini, um, mini Stampin' Dimensionals and they look like this, they're super small. And then they also come in black. So the black ones actually, they're a little bit more um, priced differently. Um, but they are regular and mini all together and they are black. So I 
I've only used those a couple times. Um, but I, I like to use them on the darker paper. All right, especially when you need a dimensional really close to the edge of the paper. All right, so I just added two on there. And then I'm gonna add this sentiment um, actually in the center. I didn't center it on that one. Actually, it needs to go a little bit higher. Okay, then we're going to use one of those mini Stampin' Dimensionals that I just pulled out. And I like to take my Take Your Pick tool to grab them because it's easier that way. And then this heart has a little stitch um, edging on it. Make sure you put the mini dimensional on the rough side. And then I'll just peel that backing off. And this little heart is gonna go right here. Okay. Then we're gonna flip it over one more time and we're gonna add some Stampin' the Dimensionals. I'm gonna add four and I'm placing them about half an inch in from the corner. That way I don't really need one in the middle. A bigger panel, definitely you would use five, but on something smaller like this, four will work. Okay, and then we're just gonna center this one right on the front. Okay, looks straight, okay. All right, no embellishments, no ribbon, simple, simple card. Now let's work with the envelope. Let's see what I have over here. So what I did, I took scraps. You know, you gotta use your scraps, people. Okay, so this is like one inch by five and three eighths, something like that. And then um, I took the opposite side and we're gonna put them together like this. Okay, so let me just use my liquid glue. Oops, dried out, because oops, there we go. Has that ever happened to you guys? Like you're trying and trying to get the glue out and it just comes out so fast. Yuck, makes such a mess. And I should be using my silicone craft sheet. It's just like right over there and I should be using it. Let me grab it. Okay, so my scrap here is just a little bit too long. That's okay, because we can take those fancy paper snips and just snip it off. And then let's bring in the envelope. And this is going to be a little bit long, but that's okay. I'm going to use my stamp and seal on this little scrap piece for the envelope, just because I want it to stick. I don't want the postman to get angry or upset because my, my envelope is kind of falling apart. Plus, I want the recipient to um, get the total design. Okay, once you get it really good and pressed down, um, that will be fine. And this, this card will go regular postage. So I'm just gonna take my paper snips once again and trim off that little excess. Okay, so that is it for card number one. Let me just clean up my area here. You guys can kind of see them. Now this one here, the one we just made using the dark pool party for the water. And then on this one, I used the um, lighter uh, Stampin' Blends. And you can see I colored the cats a little bit differently. And this one's a little bit darker than this one. So eyes are the same and the, the fish is colored the same as well. So that is um, what I have for this card. And let me see, you gotta clean my area a little bit. It's like really, messy okay so any questions on this one let's see doesn't look good and it looks like a lot of you guys like paper pumpkin or love paper pumpkin <laughs> i lose stuff all the time drives me crazy yep i know i i knew that heart was on that magnetic sheet but it was out of my sight and i didn't see it Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the next card. And that one is in a bin over here. So what do we have with us today? In this bin. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the frayed ribbon. Um, just a small piece of it. This is super soft. I really haven't used it much, um, but it is in the mini catalog. 
um, and it's three quarters of an inch wide, so almost an inch. So it's very, very big. And I think that's maybe the reason why I haven't used it, but I want to use it on tonight's card. So we'll be doing that. And then here is the stamp that I'm going to be using. And then I have these doilies. These are called heart and home doilies. And let me just take them out for you. And the fun thing about the doilies is you can use both sides. So this side is cinnamon cider. And then on the back side, it's white. So you can still use this two different ways. So cinnamon cider is one of the, the um, colors. Now, I don't know how many are in this. 30, so what a great deal, right? 30 doilies. And then here is, I think this is basic gray. And again, white on that side. Yep, all basic gray. And then there's a misty moonlight in here right at the bottom. So there's the basic gray. And then we have misty moonlight. So 30 of these. I'm going to use the um, cinnamon cider because I love it. And it looks really nice on that card design. All right, so I'm going to see. I'm very organized with the doilies. I have a rubber band on them because that way I won't lose them. <laughs> That's how I organize my doilies. And I'm going to be using crumb cake ink. And the sentiment is called Better Together. And I've got Stampin' Blends. And we'll go over those in just a little bit. And I'm going to be using the Heart Punch um, as well. Okay, where's my card? Because I need to see it. And I don't know what I just did with it. It's in the pile here. No. No. It's over here. Okay, so let's take a peek at this card. I am losing everything tonight. All right, so here's that envelope theme again. And then um, on the inside, we carried it through. So I, I hope I have enough scraps. If not, I'm gonna have to cut some paper because I wanna show you again how I did that. Okay, so we're gonna stamp first. So I have a circle here and this circle is two and a quarter. You can use your layering circles or you can use um, your two and a quarter inch um, punch. I still have my punches, my circle punches stamping up. I use them quite a bit. One, because it's just so quicker. Okay, um, Memento Black. So I'm gonna stamp the chick in the mommy. Okay, and then hopefully I can stamp this without going off too much. It basically just barely fits. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, and then I'm going to, um, I should have a scrap of white around here. Oh no, I was gonna use my box of scraps. So let me just grab one. I have my box of scraps off to the left side there and I've been using them a lot for Card Club. I just created all my tags for Card Club um, and if I can show them to you, I guess if you, I know some of you watching are in my car club. So if you don't want to see the tags, then oh, you guys just didn't see that. That one broke on me, but I still use it. Okay. So don't look if you don't want to see the tags, but I made the tags, um, tonight, um, super fun tags that I package up with the card club. So I got a couple different designs, mostly um, the fresh freesia, but see how that evening evergreen um, ribbon works really nicely. This is just a circle, and then this is the um, can't remember what it is. Uh, what's oh, I have it right here. Uh, label me fancy punch. So I punched out evening evergreen, and then here's another one. Um, so those are my tags. I have this many left to package. Okay, let's restamp this because I'm gonna use that one inch circle punch and it's too far up. So, no, it's a, uh, sorry you guys. One and three eighths, I think. Okay, I wanna see if it's the one inch. 
yeah, it's actually one inch, but I stamped it too far in. I don't want to cut that off. So I'm going to do this all over again really quick. Okay. I think I actually stamped that better too. Okay, so now let me just take my punch. You can use your layering circles again. Oh, no, one and three eighths, I think. Yeah, one and three eighths is, I think what I used. It looks bigger though. I just, you guys are killing me. I used the wrong one. I used the wrong stamp. Oh my goodness. Sorry, you guys. I'm gonna start all over. Deep breath. Oh. I'm trying too hard and I just need to stop. Okay, I'm gonna start all over again and I'm gonna grab another scrap out of my bin and I'm just gonna start all over. Better together, right? You guys make it better together and that wasn't stamped very nicely. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that one inch circle punch just because it's quicker on video. And that's all set. Now we need to um, color in our little chicks. So I used, let's see, over here I used Old Olive dark and light for the grass. For the baby chick, I used So Saffron. And for the mama, I used um, Crumb Cake dark and light. And I added a little bit of yellow in her, but I think I added a little bit too much, so I'm gonna add the yellow last. Um, so the, I'm gonna just gonna use the dark um, on her, and again, just like the other designs that we colored in, I'm just kind of bringing the darker colors over these little speckles. Okay, maybe a little bit down here on her belly and around her eyes. So a little bit darker on this side. Get a little shadow effect. We'll probably come back to the dark. Let's um, color in some of the lighter color. And you can see the belly is just a little bit different. Okay, so that's a little too light. So I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more dark. I think uh, I'm just a scatterbrain tonight is because um, there's a really big um, accident on the um, interstate tonight because we got a lot of snow today. And I, th I heard it's a semi truck and um, I just thought my sister would be coming home from work at that time and she didn't answer her phone. <laughs> so I got a little um, nervous about that. It was like an hour before she actually messaged me back saying she was actually outside. Um, plowing her yard. So I got a little distracted by the accident. It's it's pretty bad. So I know one person passed away. So I just, you know, didn't need that. So um, best wishes to those people that are involved though. It's, it's, they're not showing much of it. So lots of snow here today. All right, so I'm gonna take my um, dark, um, old, old olive, and I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of the dark here. I'm letting that little chick um, dry a little bit before I add ink to the other one. And let's just mix in some lighter color too, because grass is all different colors. Okay, so now I'm gonna use, this is gonna be brown, and I'm gonna use my brown dark crumb cake. all over the little splatters here, and especially the feet. Let's tap over here. Okay, and then some down here. Just 
just out, I'm just using it to outline a little bit. All right, so now let me grab my light crumb cake. It got so quiet. <laughs> All right, let me just get some lighter one up here. I think I need another crumb cake. It's getting down there. It's because kind of crumb cake and soft suede were the only brown colors that we had until we got all of the skin tone colors. So um, you could use skin tone colors as well. Okay, I really don't like how this one is coming out. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of yellow and see what happens. Okay, so let me grab my yellow and just gonna just do a little bit of yellow just to give it a little bit of character I guess okay one more time with the um, light and blend it all in Okay, I think there's something over there too. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the wing. And I didn't actually color that over here. I didn't even catch that. Okay, that is all done. <laughs> now, if you really wanted to, and I don't have it because it's still packed in my classes, um, put Wink Stella on this, right? Because that's that would just really be nice. Okay. Let's do the card. We're going to work with the card and get all these little pieces kind of on here and let's get them out of the way. So here's the inside panel. Let's work with that one. And it's basic white. It's four by five and a quarter, just a, just a normal size. Now these are clouds, so let's just make sure they're going the correct way. Um, I will use my stamp and seal and we're just going to um, lay down two two lines of adhesive. Look at that again, make sure my clouds are going the correct way. Okay, and then we're gonna add um, this side. I, I love this blue side. The stripes here, the diagonal stripes look really nice too. Whoa, come on. Okay, and then this is just gonna go in the center. And again, it's a scrap, so I'm just gonna trim this right off. Okay, so then we'll take this and add some seal. And then I've got a crumb cake um, card base, which is the eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter, your A2 size card. Okay, and then this it's just a four by four. Um, and then look at those clouds really carefully. And we'll add some adhesive to this panel. And then this is just gonna get put right over here on the left side here. And you've got the equal borders on the top, left and bottom. Then we're gonna take the doily. You could put it this way, but I thought it kind of looked a little too white. So that's why I wanted to use the cinnamon cider side. Okay, just like that. Now, um, this is just gonna get adhered with our seal in the center. Okay, and then here's that little, um, circle there and we're going to add stampin dimensionals to this one we'll add three um, because we'll just create a triangle and that should support that piece as well okay peel those off and then um, adding the stampin dimensionals on top of that doily gives us lots of dimension okay there's that now Let's create the heart. So I've got a scrap. Um, you can see where I punched it out before. And I'm using the heart punch pack. 
And all I'm gonna do is I'm going to punch out a heart from the designer series paper. And then we're going to um, add this one anywhere you want. You could put it, you know, wherever you want. Maybe I'll put this one up here um, and we'll see what that one it looks like compared. So this is going to get lifted up too. So we're going to add our Stampin' Dimensionals again. Three of them um, would do. Press them down really, really well. I'm just going to use my Take Your Pick tool here to pull those off. And then up here, we'll put this one up here this time. Let's just compare them. Then here's that frayed ribbon we're going to use. So I've got to grab my um, fancy um, ribbon um, scissors. And if Karen Rose is still on here, sh thank you again, Karen, for sending these to me. Um, let's see, about two inches. I'm gonna trim up this side a little bit. This does fray, and it's meant to fray. And there's 10 yards on here, and you can see frayed ribbon, so it is meant to fray. Now, I don't have my Stamp and Seal Plus on here, or on my desk, I ran out. Um, earlier to, or last night when I was making this card. So I'm gonna use my tear tape because you want some really sticky adhesive on this um, piece of ribbon. So I just added it to there. Now let's see if I can get it off. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. So this could be a challenge. There we go. Okay, so I just peeled that off, and then we're gonna angle this a little bit. Let's angle it this way. Then we're gonna say um, the little one inch better together is going to get layered on top of that ribbon, but we definitely want a Stampin' Dimensional on it. And it does stick with a Stampin' Dimensional. I had to double check um, earlier because I wanted to make sure and just give it a really good press with your thumb. And then I think I might just trim this down a little bit. It's just a little too long. So just take your ribbon scissors, whatever you have dedicated to your ribbon. Let me just trim this one down about a quarter of an inch. Okay. Oh, that looks not very good. Is it Friday the 13th? Because I swear it is, right? It's got to be. Okay. It's all fraying on me. <laughs> okay, so that is the um, front. No embellishments, just the ribbon on this one. And that's that one. So now we're going to take our envelope. And we're going to create that same little... Um, design um, on our front if I have all the pieces. I might not. Like I said earlier, I might not. So I know I have this one here. So let me just grab an envelope and this one is a little bit smaller, which is fine. I don't care, right? We got to use our scraps. Don't throw them out. Use them on your envelopes. And I don't care if my clouds are going the wrong way. All right, so I've got that there. Now I'm gonna find a strip of the paper. And I might have to cut some because this really doesn't look good. That's the opposite side and it's the rainbow side. So see that it just doesn't go with a card either. So let's find here's see this is how I kind of keep my designer series paper. I have these binder clips. Um, so I always put my scraps towards the front because we can just go to them really easily. Um, all you need is a half inch strip. So we'll just take my paper trimmer and trim it. Now, I don't know 
Let's see what size this is. Um, four inch. So half inch by four inches. And then we're going to add this piece to the center of that designer series paper. So we're just going to take our seal and then just put it in the center, right? There's still enough room. You got your stamp over here. You got your address and you can put the return address on the back of that envelope. That's super fine as well. All right. So, sorry, I really messed up tonight, you guys. That's okay, right? We all kind of have our moments. Okay, so here are the two. Let's line them up and top or bottom, which ones, which one? I I don't really care. I think they both look fine. Doesn't really matter. And then here's our nice little envelope. So let's see if I can get it and then total the picture here. All right, and then I will put on top here, here's the one I made earlier. And then here's the matching envelope that coordinates with this one. I love that little tiny heart. Now, no, again, no embellishments, no rhinestones, nothing. I try to make this as simple as we could for like a beginner stamper. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I have. Anybody have any questions? Karen Rose saying the bottom one. So you're saying this one. Yep. Anybody else? Oh yeah, the clip idea for scraps, it saves me. I also have these little um, pocket, um, clear pockets. Where are they? Um, let me find them so I can show you. Uh, let's see, here's some. These also work really well. Um, these I got at a um, local, you know, Staples. And these things do, um, they come with this adhesive, but I don't use it. And I actually, these things tear right off. I should just tear this off because it bothers me. It's a flap. It's meant to just fold over and seal. Um, but these are really good too. And they're U.S. Postal Service approved. So you could mail catalogs in these as well. Um, so these are handy as well. That's how I, what I use for my scrap. So what would I do with my binder clip? I just kind of put this all together like this um, and then clip it. And that's how I store it, just like this. All right, so that's all I have for you guys tonight. I'm going to get busy working on the rest of my card club orders and try to get those shipped out tomorrow night. Um, if not, it will be definitely on Monday. So um, anybody else um, have any questions before I sign off? You could never do lives. I never thought I could either. You know, I am just, I don't even edit my videos because <laughs> I don't know how. I don't want to take the time to learn and you get what you get with me. Um, I can never, cat one is my favorite. Yeah, I like that one too. I use a quart size Ziploc bag for those six by six papers. That's a great idea too. Um, do you use the slider ones, Karen, or do you the, use the, like, you know, the ones that are normal? Um, what about the part of the cat that is behind the fish bowl? Part of the cat? Oh, I don't know what you mean. Oh, oh, you're right. I should color that in. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so let's do it. Thank you so much. Yeah, so this, right, needs to be colored in because the glass is clear. And that's part of the cat that you see. That makes sense because there's a line right there. See, you guys help me out too. See, let's look. Oh my gosh. 
how obvious, right? Now that you see it colored in, <laughs> like it should have been colored in. I'm gonna color this one in too. It's gonna be dark over here. This is much better. I never even saw that. Okay, isn't that better? <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I would smooth out this color, um, this the cat too, give it a little bit more darker color. I'll do that off camera. Um, so much better, and I do love these. The eyes are just crazy, right? Um, anyway, um, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, let's see if there's any other, you'll see when you open your boxes. Oh, I'm gonna open those two boxes this weekend. I have to because they're right behind me, Karen. Like I said, I had, I'm using them as a table right now, but I'm clear in this craft room. I am just gonna clean it. Um, probably late Saturday afternoon, I'll have Card Club hopefully done and then gonna give this room an overhaul. I'm gonna even mop the floors. <laughs> okay, so I gotta sign off or else I'm not going to get Card Club done. So um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys do well. All right, now I'm gonna just gotta find the X and we're good. <laughs>